I'm Dee Sham. First off, we'd like to say thank you for viewing our channel. Truly, my wife and I, we count it a blessing each and every time you view our videos. We are honored and privileged to have this platform to uplift our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless YouTube for giving us this platform. God bless you, most of all, for taking heed to the words of the living God and for having a hunger and a thirst for righteousness. Today, we have a wonderful word of encouragement for you. It's called, Love Not. First John, chapter two, verse 15. It is written, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Love not. Read the backstory to 1 John chapter 2. You'll discover that believers are not to practice, not to play with, or to live in sin. However, if they stumble, Jesus is our advocate to defend us before the Father. And not only believers, but anyone in the world who accepts Christ. Mm, that's love. Chapter 2 goes on to define knowing God. Knowing God is keeping His commandments. That defines that you know God. If someone says they know God and doesn't keep His commandments, he's a liar. And the truth isn't in him, according to the scriptures. The real test of knowing God is keeping his word, hallelujah, obeying his word, abiding in the word of God as a lifestyle, not a chore, not from religion, not a love. And through this lifestyle, you'll know what our Heavenly Father expects from all of us just by obeying his word in chapter 2 if you hate your brother another created being like yourself the one that hates is in darkness I can define hate in many ways but hate is hate it's ugly, it's destructive, it kills, it steals, it manipulates, it lies, it destroys. Hate is darkness. And anyone that loves his brother, they are in light. They are walking in light. They are living in light. Because God is light and in Him is no darkness at all. In chapter 2, believers are encouraged because they are overcomers. And overcomers must know how to conduct themselves to maintain overcoming. All of this happens in the first 14 verses of chapter 2 of 1st John. <laughs> so now let me uh, encourage you in the Lord. Love not 
is not a command by a choice that overcomers must retain in their understanding. No, love not will keep you when others are deceived and fall back, fall away, give up, quit. Love not will keep you focused, will keep you on track, will keep you in order without veering off course. The battle was won by Jesus, hallelujah. He won it, he rose from the dead, he conquered death. Heaven and earth and all power is in his hands. So he's victorious and you're victorious. The victory is yours. You accept Christ, you're victorious. You obey Christ, you're victorious. Overcoming is now in your DNA. You've put overcoming in your blood. Now it's your heritage because you accepted Jesus the Christ, who is King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Love not should be an overcomer's thing. And overcomers explain without even saying a word by them not loving everything the world loves. Because overcomers have been taught love not the world neither the things that are in the world if any man love the world the love of the father is not in him right now you may have thought you have the father's love in you by doing your own thing by living in a way that's pleasing to your conscience but not pleasing to our Heavenly Father. Please repent of your sins. Turn away from things that are destroying you, that are killing you. Give your life to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And you'll need to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin. Hallelujah. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. God is pouring out his spirit upon all flesh. And in these last and evil days, you must be born of the water and of the spirit. God loves us so much that he would show us in his word what is real love, what is true love, what is honest love, what is pure love. And as an overcomer, one thing you must understand and never forget, to love not, or don't love anything the Father doesn't love. Because if you love something that our Heavenly Father doesn't love, the love of the Father is not in you. This has been our word of encouragement for you today from my beautiful wife and I. Thank you for watching our ads. Have a blessed day.